In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a parallax icon to your Apple TV project. Let's get started on that. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Xcode and create a new project. So, new project. And here you've got the different templates. And I'm going to make sure I pick TVOS. And you could use this for any of these top um, projects. I'm just going to pick Single View App and hit Next. And we'll just create a, a name. Um, I'll call it Apple TV Icon Demo. Okay. And I will hit next. Okay. And I'm going to just save this to my desktop. So I will just hit create. Okay. So one thing to I'm going to explain now, and you probably are aware of this if you've looked at all uh, investigating how to create a um, an Apple TV icon for your application uh, and you want it to be parallax and all that good stuff is that th the information on Apple's site is rather confusing there's a lot of stuff there but it's confusing and the different tutorials which were hard to find that were out there basically were using a version of Xcode where where you had two spots for a small icon and a large icon uh, to place uh, your images for the for the icon. Um, whereas now in Xcode and I'm running uh, version 9.4.1 um, there's only one thing and we'll, we'll see that in a minute. Also in these demos, um, these tutorials, what have you, um, they went and used the parallax uh, tool that Apple has and they created an LSR file. But every attempt I made to get an LSR file to work uh, did not. Um, there was a tutorial, part of a tutorial on making Apple TV apps on lynda.com and at the end of it the teacher the trainer the last thing they did was create an apple tv icon and show you how to do it using what i just mentioned and i downloaded the uh, files and they didn't work so might have worked um, in the past but apple changes things sometimes it's hard to know what to do next but finally figured this out what to do and we're going to do it now so I've got this new application and we want you want to go to assets dot X cassettes however you pronounce that you want to expand the folder here app icon and top shelf okay and then you have app icon app store app icon by itself app store is a whole nother subject right we're looking for creating an app icon we can expand this and you have front middle and back okay this is just like their suggested kind of layering okay um, but so this would be three layers but you can actually have up to five layers and I'm going to show you um, a demo of five layers okay so if you click on one of these guys, okay, you're going to see this area here, and app icon is everything in the app icon area you're going to see here. So you front, middle, back, you see front, middle, back, and okay. What we're going to do though is we want to have five layers. I'm just going to highlight all three of these, hold shift down, then I hit the backspace button and it's gone. Now I'm getting an error because this doesn't have anything. But I click on here 
and I am going to right mouse click and pick new Apple TV image stack layer. Okay, I am going to pick, and let's just see this for a second. You have to have at least two layers in your icon. We just have one right now. And I'm going to do it again. New Apple TV stack layer. Oh, it doesn't matter right now. Okay, again. So I want, since I have five images, um, I have five layers. So one, two, three, four, one more. Okay. All right. Now the interesting thing about it is I don't think it matters what you call the layers. So, um, but make it make the names make sense to you. Okay. And remember that the layer here, this is the bottommost layer, and this is the topmost layer. So anything on this layer, if it's in the same spot as something on one of these other layers, it'll cover it, right? So bottom to top, okay? So I'm going to just go here and just show you. I'll just type I does bottom layer and top layer and I'll just because I can I'll make this layer 2 again this is just text to, to help you out to identify what's what okay so if you try to put in six layers or something like that, you'll get an error. Okay. Now, um, every basically everything I looked at to show you how to do this involved a parallax viewer and involved uh, installing, dragging an LSR uh, file into here. Okay. And I did get something that showed up down here and would show a nice parallax view. But when I tried to actually get it to work with the icon, I ran into all sorts of problems. And some of the stuff I read to try to get it to work, where you're editing the LSR file and it's in JSON, and it's like, well, if I have to. But it turns out you don't need that. And it's rather simple. Now, of course, if the LSR file thing worked, um, great, but um, especially if you're using Photoshop. I did not use Photoshop for this. And by the way, this is cool. You just so you're crystal clear on this, right? Because I saw some people asking about this on the web. You do not need Photoshop to create icons for the Apple TV. Okay, all you need is some sort of graphics tool that can create PNG files. Um, and you need it to be able to create transparencies. Okay. Um, note on that, the bottom layer, okay, cannot have a tran any transparency, just so you know. Um, so it needs to be an opaque solid layer. So I used Affinity Design, Affinity Designer, okay, to create this icon. And I actually um, would go through and export the PNG files. And when I'd export, I'd hide the layers that I wasn't doing and just pick a particular layer. And I gave them these names, OK? And I've got them here in this file. Another thing to note is that these files I created at 800 by 480 pixels, OK? Um, You'll probably want to do the same thing half the size because um, I'm going to put these in the 2x section. Okay, probably want to, um, you know, do the half size and put them in the 1x section. Okay, so let's start here. All right, I'm going to scroll down so we see bottom layer. Okay, and I'm going to grab my bottom layer PNG here. I'm going to drag it into the 2x, let go. All right, and there it is, okay? Uh, next thing to do is layer two. So I'm gonna pick layer two, drop it into the layer two here, 
Okay, you can see the image here. And layer three, and drop it into the 2x on layer three. Layer four, drop it in layer four. And last but not least, the top layer, I'll drop it in the top layer, okay? And those are just the naming conventions I decided at this moment to use. Again, use what makes sense for you. All right, you can see how all those layers come together to show you an approximation of what it looks like, okay? And what's nice is if I hover my mouse over this, I can see that nifty parallax effect, how it's supposed to look, okay? Now, I'm going to just... Um, run it, run the app in the simulator, Apple TV 4K. All right. And there's nothing in the app, so I picked just a single view controller and voila. Um, but that's not the point of this um, tutorial, right? It's to get our icon going. Um, if you, by the way, if you're using the simulator, you can't like click on things in here. You've got to go in the simulator to hardware and pick show Apple TV remote. Let me move this over. Maybe it will. Okay, it's gonna be that way. But I can, I'm gonna hit the menu button here you can see here that it's installed in the simulator and you get that nifty parallax effects. So it works, right? Um, now I'm going to show you on the actual Apple TV. And I would suggest, and just like Apple suggests um, for the app itself, that you don't just ship it to the, your app to the App Store because it looks okay in the simulator um, because you're real right up close to the simulator and it looks a lot different than when you're sitting you know on a couch uh, 10 feet away from the television so as you can see the um, Apple TV demo that I created for you uh, successfully installed on my Apple TV this is my actual Apple TV and if I move my um, thumb on the D-pad for the Siri remote, you can see that hmm, you get that nifty parallax effect. Okay, so I hope this has helped you. And um, I'm going to put this project that I just did up on my GitHub and I will provide a link in the show notes. Um, if the, you found this helpful, please uh, like the video, and if you want to subscribe, that'd be cool too. Thanks.